What is going on guys? It is Venture Light here and today I'm back with another video and today well, I'm going to be talking about one of the biggest clubs to ever be in football. FC Barcelona. All right, let's get it. So lonely on the east side. I don't give a fuck. I keep it real. I'm not gonna let it slide. Now she see me up. She let me fuck one me to come. Well, let's get started. FC Barcelona is one of the biggest football clubs ever. They have won multiple achievements. They have won multiple trophies, and they have had some of the best players to ever play the game of football. But right now they're going through a very difficult time and this is not like them whatsoever. Barcelona are not used to this kind of stuff. This is one of the worst periods of time in history for FC Barcelona. Of course, I don't know exactly what's going on in the club, but I'm just going to be saying pure facts. FC Barcelona is a type of club that usually in the past have relied, not heavily, but relied on getting new players through their youth system. La Masia is a very popular youth academy that everybody's dream is to play for as a kid. From La Masia, there have been players coming out of it like Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta, Cesc Fabregas, Gerard Piqué, obviously some big names out there. So it's very common in the past where La Masia players come up and get into the first Barcelona team and succeed. That was until very recently. Very recently, there has been numerous La Masia players that have not want to continue in Barcelona because of different reasons. Right now, Barcelona is not in a very good state and it's just in a very dark place in terms of football and in terms of enjoyment, in my opinion. They've been trying to change their traditions recently while instead of relying on La Masia, they have been relying on external transfers, players that have already shown their class in other clubs, in other leagues, and they want to implement them. Like one of the biggest ones was Neymar. He was a member of MSN, which is one of the biggest attacking trios we have ever seen, including Suarez, which ha did not come from La Masia either. Other names that pop up into my mind like Malcolm, Arthur, Coutinho, Griezmann, and those are just some of the very recent transfers. And if we take a look at all of them, apart from MSN, of course, their careers in Barcelona have either come to an end or have not reached their full potential. A very clear example is Philip Coutinho. He had already shown that he was world class in Liverpool and that he could have been in a winning team. As he went to Barcelona, he was not appreciated enough and he was not played enough and he was sent out on loan on Bayern. Same thing with Malcolm. He was about to go to Roma, and then last second, Barcelona butted in the transfer, they bought him, and Malcolm did not get the minutes that he hoped that he was gonna get in Barcelona, and soon after, they got sold. Another big player that right now is a very upset in transfer is Arthur. Arthur was a Brazilian midfielder that he came in from the Brazilian side, a brilliant youngster, he was an amazing midfielder, he would come up on attack, come back on defense, pass here, pass there, make runs, make plays, he was just a brilliant, brilliant player on the ball. But yet right now, in recent transfers, he has been swapped for somebody like Marilyn Pjanic. Don't get me wrong, Pjanic is amazing, but why would you trade a straight up youngster prodigy that came in that you guys fought for that did not come from La Masia that came from Brazil and you guys traded him for somebody that's yeah he's world class he's 30 years old as a midfielder how much more years can you add to his prime career three maybe four if he's good let's admit it Arthur in the long run after reaching development was always gonna be a better midfielder than Pjanic ever was and speaking of 30 year olds I want to talk about what's actually going on with the team itself. If we look at today's lineups between Barcelona and Espanyol, you can see that there is six players that are over 30 years old. Don't get me wrong, Messi is still one of the best players I have ever seen, and Suarez is still a lethal striker, and Rakitic and Busquets are still world-class midfielders, including Piqué and Jordi Alba world-class as well. But we need to think about the future here. Why would you be starting over six 30 year olds in a starting lineup consecutively? And this does not include Vidal because Vidal has been starters in the past, but he's not a starter this game. A majority of the Barcelona games, a majority of the players in the starting lineup are over 30 years old and that is not good for the future. If you guys have young players or had young players in the past, why didn't you keep them? Why didn't you play them? Why didn't you let them develop? 
they wanted instant results and that's not the way to play that's not the way to build a foundation and build a future for a football club imagine if you would have still had a Coutinho with Griezmann now if we still had a Malcolm or Dembele we could have had Frankie in the midfield along with Arthur with Ricky but what happened Coutinho went out on loan they sold Malcolm Arthur got swapped who is running this team because the way they're running it it's not the way a team is supposed to be ran let me tell you who the problem is the problem is Josep Bartomeu the president of FC Barcelona time to stick up for his young chefs what are you trying to say sweetheart? Really? Why don't you just take a seat and just sit down and try to enjoy a cup of coffee? How can you enjoy something that when you come... My husband is starving. No right. Point. Okay. Okay. My steak was tough. Okay, good. Because but, madam, unfortunately, you're talking out your rear. And... and uh, your mouth, sir. Oh, really? I but you're just walking around looking for trouble. You Why don't you just sit down and stop trying to cause trouble? Oh, there we go. Ladies, welcome. Good evening. How are you? So sorry about the old bag. The board right now in Barcelona are not in a very good state of mind. They want instant results and they want them now. So what they do is they don't let their players develop. They don't care about them, they just care about business. They just sell them off and they want instant results. That's why they play players with already experience, but that's not how you're supposed to build players. You build a foundation, you build a team through players and experience by working them together. And that including the young players so they can learn from the older players and become the new generation, but no. The board wants the instant results so they want to play the same players over and over and over again and they're not thinking about the future. It's not healthy for the club. We have had managers in the past two, two, three years that have not been the same. Ernesto Valverde and Quique Setien have not been in top shape and ever since Luis Enrique left, Barcelona have not been the same and let me tell you why. Since the president and the board have this state of mind of short term and they want results now and they want to do the same thing that they've been doing when they and they don't want to look into the future, that's what they do with the coach. They tell the coach to do that because who's the boss? It's the president of the club. It's not the coach at the end of the day, it's the board. So the coaches have to do what the board says at the end of the day. And Kike continues to do the same thing as Valverde. Don't get me wrong, Valverde was dog shit, but Kike is different but still the same. And the aspect is they listen to the board more than they should listen to the players. And this creates tension between the coach and the players because the players obviously know that this isn't the way to move forward in a club. And then the players having conflict with the coach makes the coach and the players not have good chemistry, making the players play just bad football in general. Players like Griezmann at one point a couple years ago was one of the best players in the world barely can get any goals, even minutes. And the only way that we can see any of this changing is if we get a new board. Barcelona election for presidents are coming up and that could be the only opportunity that we can get so that we can have the old FC Barcelona back. It's sad to see such a great and historical club go to waste right now. This is one of the darkest ages that we've seen in Barcelona in a while. For the first time since 2006, I believe, Barcelona will go trophyless. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any more questions or anything you want me to talk about in the channel, leave them in the comments below. And well, yeah, that's been it. Peace.